This is demonstration seven uh, to demonstrate 2140's transient analysis capability. One of the most beneficial in-field diagnostic tools is transient analysis. The CSI 2140 uh, is equipped with advanced transient analysis and what I'm going to be demonstrating is transient analysis using four channels. These are four channels going across the complete machine train and we're going to be bringing in speed at the same time to capture the speed information with the quote extended time waveforms. The reason for transient analysis is to be able to capture startups, shutdowns, or non-periodic random events. These events could be uh, due to operator induced faults or could just be random process type uh, events. Uh, so to begin transient analysis from the home page of the 2140 click F11 to open up transient and the first thing you want to do is verify that you have all four sensors programmed to collect data and from the input setup I see that I've got all four accelerometers selected I see that I'm going to take 15 seconds of data and I'm going to have an F max of 1000 hertz. I have also have my trigger, it, my trigger is a TAC trigger. So I can go ahead and start my data collection and it's waiting on my trigger. Well I'm going to start my device. It's actually clicking and I'm going to collect some data at various spots on the machine train. And then I'm also going to vary my speed. I'm going to turn it almost all the way down and then start it back up. So over that 15 seconds we've just collected data on all four channels simultaneously and the result is I can see all 15 seconds for each waveform. And on the transient channel A where these high peaks are, this is exactly where the impacts were. And you can see where the amplitude goes to zero, and that is where, the, uh, where we turned the machine off and then started the machine back up again. To actually blow up on one of these waveforms for higher resolution, I can change my active plot, go in to change my uh, type, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off a couple of these other plots. So now I'm looking at alone the channel A and channel D plots for a lot higher resolution.